Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Luna. And your boy, Stanley. All right, have and have nots, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it right off the bat. I hope we're not back on the all, road, all roads lead to Ford Motor Company deal because yeah. I was sitting there and I was trying to keep myself awake and all that good stuff, but y'all don't wanna hear that right now. If you are new to the family, yeah. welcome. If you're not a family member, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. It's free 99. It's gonna go up next week. Um, and y'all know what to do. Rate, comment, get it popping. Go ahead and put this out here for next week. Y'all ain't gonna see us next week. Yeah. Um, and you may not see us the week after that. It just depends on, it just depends. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to tell y'all too much about business, but when a black girl gets her hair braided, y'all know what time it is. Hey. So, um, so you know, just just wish us God, um, journey mercy and all that good stuff. And yep. you know, as we travel this here country and let it do what it do. <laughs> and we'll see you when we see. <laughs> and we see you when we see, you, but definitely you won't see us next week. Yeah. So, um, the right cocktail. We start off where you know how um. The hangover where Mr. Chow said, you do blow, you die, you come back, read a book. That's exactly what happened to Oscar. We all thought Kinda. he was dead. So Candace ended up calling down there to the um, to the bar because evidently Rocky knows how to bring everybody back to life when you almost kill him. But Rocky's not there. So I think his name, what is his name, RJ? Or uh, something like that. RJ knows how to go ahead and get people to come back around. So he goes ahead and gives him a shot to the chest, brings Oscar back around. And Candace is questioning him, talking about some, do you know where you are? Do you know what happened? Da 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 da. Oscar don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't even know what freaking hotel he was at. Yeah, you could have told him he was at the Best Western and he would have went with it, but he's <laughs> realizing. That's what I would have told him too. Yeah, he's realizing that Candace is up to something and he doesn't know what. But before he could even figure it out, Candace would have had to put his hind parts out. Like, out the room, out the room. So, we was like, okay, what's this gonna do? So he gets back to his hotel room, opens up his laptop, which I never saw him take. But he could have. Like yeah, I he said, took, yeah, he, like yeah, I said, well, I was half asleep. <laughs> he goes back to his hotel room, opens up the laptop, and it looked like she took a bat to the guy doing laptop. Hold that mug up. And then I got real confused because he calls to the front desk and told the front desk he needs a new laptop. Now, I know when you got money, you can make some strange things happen on a dime. But I ain't, I ain't never seen nobody like in a hotel. I ain't never. Or a resort. Do he think he Mariah Carey They say you better go down there to the internet cafe like that dude told Like them. everybody else do. Yep. It's a part of your package. That's why they make you pay them resort fees now. <laughs> so you can use the internet that's slow as hell. So when he realized, hey, you know, I think it was like wee hours in the morning. The old boy said... The computer store to open up about nine. Yeah. So Oscar said, "Well, what y'all can do is go ahead and get me a car and have it ready by eight fifteen. Have that Uber ready because the black um Taiwan, <laughs> so I can look like I'm special. But I need to get to that computer store and whatnot. So I'm like, oh, okay, we are gonna get that that on and shop hopping. So y'all know last week, Candace had ordered Gia to get Jim back over to the hotel to go ahead and finish off the job so she can get some more money. Well, he comes on over there and. Gets him to go to the room, gives him, you know, they ordered a double vodka cocktail. So he, so she can do some strange things to him. Yeah. But come to find out, Gia ended up going back to Candace's room, basically to check in and tell her how much she got out of him and whatnot. And Gia made the critical mistake <laughs> of letting Candace know that, you know, Jim is so funny, which let her know, look. You catch your feelings. Candace slapped the living. Ain't that like the third time yes. she gonna smack the piss out of her? It's been a lot. <laughs> and told her, said, listen, I don't know who you think you are, hmm. but at the end of the day, you ain't nothing but a whore. Yep. They not here to be catching feelings. This ain't what this game is about, and you need to get your skit together. Yeah. In the midst of her talking all this stuff to Gia, she gets a notification on her daggone telephone. That guy doing wire transfer don't hit the guy doing account. She don't got so excited. She told Gia, she said, you know what? I'm sick of you. Nah, first she said, nah, you can go ahead and keep that money. Keep it. But I, we said, you know, we need to become pimp. I do. I can run some hoes out of she work. She made $1,500 and she got to give $1,400 to Candace. She don't want to keep 100 And she the one that did the work. 
I'm in the wrong job, man. Yeah. And if y'all want to be some hoes, yeah. I'll give you more than we 100. Do. Matter of <laughs> fact, matter of fact, we're going to put the link in the description. <laughs> If you want to sign up, go and click the link. <laughs> so she told Gia, look, I don't need you. I don't want to have nothing to do with this business no more. You can go. You can do whatever you want. So here comes Gia. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? I'm going to do better. Go on, I promise you. Please don't. Uh, Get it. So now you're begging to still be Candace Ho. Okay. I've been like, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm then free. She, she struts her butt back to her hotel room and she's crying uncontrollably. And by this time, Jim is up and he's like, what the heck is going on with you? And at first he was acting like he was all concerned. You know, oh, tell yeah. me what's going on and da, 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 da. And then he did the most pedophile move that I've ever seen in my life. And it kind of made, made my skin crawl. He said, come on over here. Right. And she sat on his knee. And I said, oh. <laughs> and then he was like, you know, tell me what's going on. And she was like, you know, she wished that she could be legit, have a legit job, pay her bills, all of this. This is not what she wants to do. And I thought she was going to talk too much and tell Jim that she really was working for Candace. Yeah, I was like, don't you, don't you, don't you say her name. But, um, no, she didn't do that. But here comes Jim. I can make you feel better. Come on over here. I can make you feel better. He takes his hand and puts it down up in her guy don't roll. But she was like, that's not going to make me feel better. So then he clicks off mm -hmm. and goes right into what Candace already warned her about. You ain't nothing but a piece of A to these dudes. Yeah, you They don't care fan. about they don't want, you. They don't want those friends attached. Jim said, listen, uh -huh. I'm not fitting to do this with you. I hear crying, moping and all of that at my house. All day, I ain't fitting to come over here and pay fifteen hundred dollars to hear you cry more. Yeah. And he took the money and made it rain in the air. He <laughs> said, "Here's an extra twenty because you have potential." I uh, said, "Well, God, I want to say this right here. I know, I know, Jim is a creep. He's definitely a creep. But I think he thought she was role playing, man. And then when he no. found out she won't role playing, he was like, "This is buzzkill. I'm gone." Mm -mm. Plus, you, you know, think about it. Damn, you in distress in the corner crying. Then well, when he found out that skit was real, be like, oh, hell no. Uh, <laughs> say, nah, this is real nah, life right here. Uh-huh, it's real. Uh-uh. So, over there at Hannah's house, Melissa's sitting there in the kitchen moping around a little bit. And they ended up, her and um, Hannah ended up having this moment. And Melissa tells Hannah, listen, I'm a really unhappy person. I'm pregnant with this unwanted baby. Um, basically, my mama hold me out to this gay guy that I had to push myself up on yeah. for money in exchange for my daddy's hospital bills and his medical care and whatnot. So Hannah told her, say, you know what, baby, I'm going to go ahead and just pray for you. But you can go ahead and, you know, continue to stay here and get yourself together because there's going to be a turnaround in your life. So Melissa said, you know what, prayer, hmm, you sound just like my mama. Basically, prayer didn't work to keep my daddy alive and prayer sure didn't stop her from holding me out. So right now, what she basically wanted to say was, I don't want to hear nothing about your prayers. I but, want some results right now. But like I told you, it's so crazy, you know, cause Hannah stopped praying after, uh, which Stop. little question died. And now when listener came along and brought deliverance, see? Hey, hey, now hey. I got her back praying again. But you know, the Lord works like it in mysterious ways, man. Yeah, you ain't got to talk to him for a long time, but he always waiting for you to come back. <laughs> and Hannah finally came back, boy, she came back. Yeah. <laughs> so, Hannah leaves to go to work. Melissa goes upstairs to basically have a conversation with Benny and told Benny, you know, I just want to thank you, you know, for allowing me to be here, stay here, whatnot. And Benny said, oh, you need to call your mom. I just figured out why in the hell he got an attitude with her like that. Because Benny is a spoiled freaking man child. And he told Melissa, call your mom and uh, figure out where you're going to stay at because what you're not going to do is stay here. And oh, by the way, I didn't even know you were pregnant. She said, well, I am. He said, well, I can't see it. And she was like, well, my stomach is usually flat, flat, flat. But right now, it's not. So I am definitely pregnant. Like, uh, so, like Drake said, your stomach on flat, flat, yo. <laughs> to me. <laughs> well, there's another YouTuber on here. And I cannot think his name saved my life. But, allegedly, I didn't really do no fact checking. But I went over there because somebody had sent me over there. And the actress that plays Melissa was over there really going in on people that did not believe the storyline about her being pregnant and basically to me she was belittling people that was questioning everything and at the end of the day she said well if you have a problem with it maybe you need to take it up with the writers and stuff but i have better things to do i thought i would just be over here interacting with fans 
I don't think it was her. I heard it was her because they said that it came from Instagram, from an Instagram live where people was asking questions and she came over there. And basically uh, the conversation kind of stayed on the same queue. So, hmm. you know, that's what I heard. Take that with a grain of salt. Because I ain't here to start no rumors. But I started side on her a little bit because I was like, hold on, wait a minute. What you not going to do is the people that start just keeping this 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 um, ship afloat get an attitude with them because we're stating the obvious. You've been yeah. pregnant for 20 daggone years. Yeah. And, and your stomach I, is flatter than mine and I ain't freaking pregnant. Exactly. So, hey. you can't get mad that people are questioning stuff. And it ain't about you as an actress. It's yeah, about I mean, you, you, you just getting, you, yeah, you doing your job getting the paycheck. If he was paying me good, I'd play with the hell out of it too. So, uh-huh. But don't get mad with people, you know, just, you gotta separate. It's not personal, it's man. It's not personal at it all. It's not personal. So, what the heck else happened? That guy doing to Monica calls Benny, and she basically told Benny, "Listen, cause she don't have a tracking device on. Um, either she had a tracking device on Melissa, got to be on Melissa, or on Benny's. Do he got a vehicle? No. Nah, well, you. how the hell he keep getting over there? Probably using a car. Okay. Well, either way, she don't figured out that um Melissa is staying over there, and she told him, said, "Hey, she's staying over there. Say, what you talking about?" So why you want her? And I mean, they just went on on. But she basically told Benny, I got you. And I'm going to make your life a living hell. And I said, what is this wench about to do? Well, we're um, about to see what she's about know. to do. Mm -hmm. She takes her tail down there to the FEMA jail. So she walked in. Jeffrey said, God! God! I'm like, what kind of jail is that? Is you hollering for the God and ain't nobody show up? Jeffrey just getting all kinds of violations down there. Don't. Well, she basically presents him with a folder and told him to sign this. You want to get out? Sign yeah, this, and I'll go ahead and get you out. It's paperwork that he could sign off on stating that Benny was the murderer I said, to Quincy go Maxwell. With that buzz kit. And I said, you know what? All because Benny. Don't want no more of your old puss. <laughs> now you want to put him in jail. Back then you want me, but now I don't want you. And you're going to put me in jail. Well, I said, okay, Jeffrey ain't going to sign them got the paper. Yeah, he is. He going to sign the paper. No, he ain't going to sign the paper. Yeah, he going to sign the paper. I knew she was going to manipulate him. Man. This is how she got him. Because he said no. And she started walking away. And she said, well, have it your way. You'll sit in here. It'll take you about a year to get an appeal. So... You know, have at it. He was like, mm-mm. You know, I'll I'll take signing the paper for 100, Alex. But you got to freaking listen to your, your daddy. Your daddy said, Jeffrey, don't sign nothing. Don't even talk to her. Don't talk to her. And, and here you do? go, doing the opposite of what he told you not to do. So he said he was going to sign the papers. Now, we never saw him sign the papers. So, you know, that might even be a cliffhanger because you know that, that his dad is on his way, on way So I hope he walk in June and he get ready to sign them papers. He's like, Jeffrey, what are you doing? <laughs> so over there, Hannah goes back to work. Go back and she's having a conversation with Kathy. Kathy wants to know how your date was. And, you know, Kathy already know, but, you know, you got to ask. So Catherine was um like, you know, what did you do? And she said, you know what, he took me out. He went to um he took me to go see Stephanie Mills. You know who that is, girl? She's like, Stephanie, what? Mm. Uh, I don't um, know her. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> she was like, We had a really, really good time. Oh, is he gonna call you back, girl? I sure hope so. You don't talk to him already. <laughs> yeah, I don't talk to him <laughs> already. And he had a good time too. Let's go in the kitchen, Hannah. Who in the kitchen? That joke. Dick Should and Derek. I have known that he was present. Dick and Derek in the kitchen fixing something else that don't broke. That ain't, that, that ain't broke. That ain't broke in that newly renovated house. He done walked over there and planted a real fresh, juicy one mm -hmm. on Hannah. She oh, he like, comfortable with it now, say. I said, well, did y'all do something last night to make him that comfortable with doing say, something? Say he didn't have the, the sun blocker this time. Mm. Get it? The sun blocker? <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> so... A lot of people in the comments keep saying that they think that Derek is the guy with the um with the lion tattoo on the chest. I don't think so because of the simple reason that Hannah described him as an older gentleman that was an associate of her aunt's, would have which would have been someone that was older. Older, yeah. So I don't think that that's him. But in Tyler Perry land, it could, could be him. He could spin that goddamn thing around and make them yeah. the same goddamn age in a matter of. 
So, yeah. So, but logically, it doesn't make sense. Say we'll find out about it when you find out about Hello. it. Hello. <laughs> so, um, what the heck has happened? Oscar, Oscar finally gets his dead on laptop, and he's able to open it up and log into the account. But, and he but sees wait a minute, though. He was. How are you going to open a laptop and then right on the login page? But like, it's brand like, new. Yeah, brand new like the other computer. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get a re-imaging like I had to do on my computer at work today. <laughs> and still, even then, you still got to get into the computer. Yeah. You got to log in. No, just open it up. It's face, facial recognition. God don't. You in Tyler land. Nothing yeah. is supposed to make sense. Nah. So he goes, opens it up, and he sees that I think it was eight million or something like that was in the account labeled the Cryer Company, but y'all forgot that Demonica actually got Marty to open up the account of the Cryer Company for Candace. Yep. I think. Yeah. It wasn't for herself. She went. She opened the goddamn account. Goddamn it. Yeah. It so, don't. It don't even matter. <laughs> but I'm still confused because I'm like. If that was the account that he was logged into, and that was so-called the account that she logged into and took the money out of, why is it still showing up over there? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they did that one. Yeah, so I don't know. You know, unless unless because she did it on the crowd company, that is all licked up under the same online account. Yeah, and she could have changed some passwords, and, and, and he made, actually looking at her account. And so what you know what what ha might have happened was they might have made her as uh, an authority on the account, but she can write checks and spend money. I don't know, but he calls um, Jim. Told Jim, say, "Hey, we got the money back. I wasn't able to take my cut out of this because of the way that it came over. But if you can write me a check, they great. I greatly appreciate it." Jim, he would talk. He would talk to Jim like, you know what? I don't got a feeling this joker ain't gonna pay me. And Jim hung up. I said. Jim, you better pay Oscar. I said, now, I'm not an Oscar fan, but what you ain't going to do is get a job done and not pay somebody they got on. Right? Yeah, because I'm like, just like the thief was able to get it back to you, the thief can take it away from you, too, because you still got all the information. Indeed. So, huh. So, um, what the heck else happened? We over there at um Texas Roadhouse, and Wyatt is on the bathroom floor. Strung out. Strung out of his goddamn mind. So the Malone um guy comes in there. And he's like, okay, get out your high. It's time to pay mm -hmm. me pick my a, money. Pick all that skit up. Yeah, Come on. It's I want my money. Up. I don't care how high you is. Get my so, money. He goes to swipe his card. Nothing happens. Swipe the card. Nothing happens. Swipe the card. Nothing happens. And he was like, hold on. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Homeboy was like, oh, so, so this is a game. You playing. You yeah, got to be playing. You gonna steal from me? I, huh? said, I said, that's what y'all get. Y'all drug dealers keep giving people stuff on credit. Yeah. You just, don't trust Just because look at his keys, man. I said, Lord have mercy. So he pulled a gun, on, a gun out on Wyatt. So we don't even know how that's going to end up. And basically, that was the end of the episode. Like, really nothing happened. Anything else you want? Man, to I sure hope Jeffrey don't sign them papers, man. I hope his daddy come down in the nick of time and he didn't, yeah. he didn't eat that disgusting ruffles that at home. If he Erica signed on paper, he gonna mess his life up because she got some other stuff stashed in that, in that paperwork. But it makes you mad because you think about it in real life, like, people that get mad with people are people that want to take somebody else down and make them take the fall for something that somebody else did mm -hmm. and they have that kind of power. They do this all day long. All the time. They set people up all day long mm -hmm. and ruin their lives. Just because. Over some bullshit. All because your ego hurt, feelings hurt, or you trying to protect somebody in your goddamn family. If your family this, did it, they did this it. This is what I. This is what Jeffrey needs to do, is to go to court and tell them the truth. Mm. Tell them that Quincy came over there to do them harm, and they got him before they got, and they panicked. Yeah. And which they did. Yeah. And Candace tricked him with that crime of passion. Which, if you scared, it's gonna be a whole lot of passion because you trying to make, trying to save your life. Hello. Huh? And this, I so, mean, I ain't getting nothing out of this. Yes. Yeah, other so, than I felt like I should have. So I'm hoping, bad. hoping he, we being led somewhere that's gonna be nice. But in Tyler's world, we just don't know. Yeah. So next week, y'all make sure that y'all support the rest of our people. Um, yeah. We got Jada Frazier doing it. We have the Jedi doing it. Mike B does it. Lady Nika does it. James Ashley. 
Um, I can't think of anybody else that does it right off the top of my head. So if I don't mention you, don't. Oh, just oh, just search in the in the thing. To have to have nice review. Yeah. And all and the people. They'll come take up. good care of you next week. But y'all, uh, we'll be enjoying ourselves wherever we shall be. And y'all be looking out on Instagram because we might post a little something, something. We might um, come on back through. But when we do come back, our video footage will actually be on our vlog channel, Life With Us TV. So if you yeah. want to know what we did, how we did it, It'll and all, all that good right stuff, there. we're going to document from the time we leave the house till we get on the plane till we get there and back around again. So you'll be able to see it all straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. To up, to down. Holla. Uh,